Yeah, what's good? It's your boy, what's good? What's? In this video, you guys, this is basically part two of our most recent Q&A. We are going to bring a lot more clarifications into light that have been asked through several different videos and some of the more personal questions that have been asked to me. Now, to start this video off, I'm going to relay a question that has been asked to me from my last video, which has to do with a lot of aspects of drugs. Now, a few of you have questioned the importance and if there is even a relevancy because throughout the GTA history, drugs have been a noted thing. And even within crime, drugs are always going to be a noted thing because they tie to aspects of either doing the right thing or doing the wrong thing, okay? But one thing that we are not necessarily looking at all right, are a lot of the symbolisms that the game is tying from one game to the next, as I've proved in several different videos. Now, one thing here is just a proof to leeway with my theory, okay, and why they choose to correlate old things, okay, with new things. Because understand this, if this was just an ice cream reference, they could make a whole nother ice cream company just to reference ice cream and a sexual reference. Or, what they could do is add a drug reference, okay? That is a lot more obvious and a lot less tied to an older game if they were trying to separate the universes. But this is proof, okay? More proof that they are not trying to separate the universes, but they are tying together with Easter eggs, okay, things that we are supposed to understand deeper, not just look at as a reference from an old game. Now, something as simple as the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Company can actually understand certain things that have to do with old games like Vice City, as the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Factory was actually owned by Tommy Versetti, but not just the aspect of an ice cream company, okay? And this is what I mean about them tying older games to newer games. Because here's a fact. Throughout the mystery, in different versions of them saying the same thing, they have tried to make note that these universes are separate, but these things that tie to older Easter eggs are exactly what connect them. And they connect them for reasons like pills and the aspect of distributing drugs. Okay, so before we get into the next topic here, one thing I want to make note within just a mind's eye of looking at things, even the aspects of a peach, okay, have been hidden within different little clues, like a weasel, and why weasel news okay, is red, but when it comes to Weasel Kids, okay, a kid version of the same company, it's yellow, tied to the peach. But that's not why I brought you here. I brought you here to show the next correlation that has actually been brought to light by a few of my subs, but... The aspects of segregating and rearranging certain things have always been in this game. And they even make a note, okay, to do it without you even trying. Something as simple as the Deep Pile Nation can actually form different words, okay, and or one more word when you put one aspect of segregation, okay, and rearranging, you get depilation. And depilation, okay, is something that has to do with the loss of hair. And if it is one thing within this mystery that I made note at least 80 videos ago is that the loss of hair is not only something tied within craft, 
but is tied within religious aspects of enlightenment. So to give credit where credit is due, my boy William Howard actually was one of the first people to notice this. Aside from me actually looking up research months before we found this clue, the fact that he finds the clue tied to hair removal and it being tied to a lot of the things that I've brought up before I even saw this only shows that the game is implying the same thing regardless of how you look at it. William, I appreciate you, bro. Keep up the true shit. Even when it comes down to the things that it is near, like the Beacon Theater, okay, we can still gain some clarity within understanding. And how a beacon, okay, is no different than a flare in the sky and or a light. And if it is one thing throughout this mystery, we have made note are the aspects of swords and hearts and why they are tied to certain colors like red, gold, and green. Even when it comes to wordplay, you guys, the hearty tack depicts a sword, nothing else, okay? They could have shown a lot of different damages to a heart. They could have shown a heart with a crack down the middle, even though that would have given us some other leeway. They chose a sword. Once again, red, gold. Green. Okay, so the next question that has been brought to my attention in several different videos is my understanding on the Pescado Rojo. A few of you have asked me to clarify not necessarily what it means, but a lot of the aspects of why it ties to the mystery, but I feel as though it's, it's, it's very self-explanatory. I'm going to answer this purely because it's a reoccurring thing, so I'm, I'm going to explain. The Pescado Rojo, okay, is a depiction of a fish. No different than a lot of the depictions of fishes tied to Jesus and or any aspect of religion that ties to water, okay? But when you take into duality a lot of the things that they are teaching us throughout the game, you can take this as physical as you want, as nothing as you want. It can be a red fish to you, or it can be something else, like... Seeing. When you think about red, you are to do what the Epsilon tell you and not necessarily see one color, but understand that there is a truth behind it that you are not acknowledging, okay? And this is the same format for all of the Easter eggs in the game. You can take them as physical as you want or they can teach you something. Now, Understand this. Am I saying everything literally ties to a conclusion of the Easter egg in this game? No. What I'm saying is that something as small, okay, as something you've seen a million times, is something tied to information. And the information is what is going to count for the conclusion. Not just looking at something. That is only step one. To take it to the next level is to understand what you are researching. Okay, so for the next question, it's something that has been asked to me several times, and that is the importance to Pleasure Pier. Now, Pleasure Pier is an amusement park here in San Andreas and or Los Santos. Now, one thing I want to make note here is that amusement parks have shown up in past Rockstar's games, but one game that is very noted to have something tied to as simple as this Ferris wheel is something that I have made note within this mystery to tie to several different things, and that is the Warriors. If you've never seen it, then you should really take the time to understand the movie because the movie surfaces itself around reaching Coney Island and it is known for a Ferris will and or wonder will. But that is not necessarily why I brought you here 
it is to pay attention to something that has been hidden in plain sight and actually concludes a lot of aspects of evil nature and the peach, and why it ties to red and yellow combined. Even when you combine red and yellow to get the orange tinge and or peach, you actually can understand certain things that have to tie within a snake or a dragon, okay? But most notably, something that ties within something we've seen in the game, you guys, and that is a sea monster and or a leviathan, okay? Now... This is something that has been hidden in plain sight. You know, we, we come to the amusement park and we see a ride, but we don't look at the Easter egg for what it is. If we take this as nothing, then it is nothing. It's just a ride with no meaning. Or it ties to all of the aspects of tentacles that I've brought up in the Kraken. Or it ties to all of the aspects of sea creatures and why they tie to water and why there's duality with this water, be it bad and good. As I said, the Leviathan, okay, is a creature within the Old Testament of Christianity, but understanding certain aspects of its relevancy like Christianity and Satanism, we can understand that within the Satanic Bible, okay, the actual Bible of Satanic religion, that the Leviathan is a representation of water, but also a representation of the direction of the West. Now, I ask you, why would this closely tie with the aspects of this pier and where the Leviathan actually is on the West side of the map? Okay, so the next question is somewhat themed after something that was brought up by a loyal sub of mine. And one of the... <laughs> One of the greatest hunters that I've seen to actually piece certain things together. His name is Schwarzenegger, and I applaud you, bro, for actually taking the time and understanding that something as simple as the easy way scene from Back to the Future, okay, can give you clues. When you sent me that clip, I understood something that I necessarily didn't understand until now. And why they could be implying one more thing that we have not been noticing. And it has to do with pleasure. So I want you to understand, they make a note within this game to not only mention it at Pleasure Pier, but... They make a note to mention pleasure at the hippie camp, the most known place for UFOs and yoga to have a relation. But even when understanding aspects of an in-game TV show, like the underbelly of Paradise, where it depicts the city of Los Santos as a city of saints and a city of sinners, we can understand wordplay and how to segregate words like paradise. And it only gives us more understanding that Back to the Future 2 and Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise has something to do with understanding. And now for the last question, which is something that has been asked to me ever since I started making videos. And that is, why is my name Wispy Woods? Now, there's a lot of reasons for this, but... For now, I'm not necessarily going to explain it. I'm going to wait until my next Wispy Insight to fully explain and decode why I'm named what I'm named and why I do what I do. But understand that you can either take it as some bullshit reference towards Kirby, or you can understand exactly why. And until then, spread the truth.